Hi, I'm Julie, Faith Van Balzer, and great news if you're a Mac user like me, Canvas Workspace for Mac is now here. I'm here in Canvas Workspace, and I want to bring your attention down to this sort of ticker at the bottom of the screen. If you look at it, you can see that it gives you different sort of information. And one of the things it says here is that the Mac version of Canvas Workspace is now available and you can click on the link. So if it disappears, don't worry, because this ticker sort of keeps rolling up with all the different releases and information that you need to know about. Once you're ready, you can click on the underlined section, which is a link, and it will take you to the Brother website. And you can go ahead and see it's telling you that Canvas Workspace is available for download. So you just need to select your product. So I have the SDX 225. We'll ask you to select your operating system. It will automatically detect what you have, which is done here. So I can just hit search. And now this is the information about what I'm going to download. You can click on any of these links if you need them. Um, there's also some notes before downloading and the end user license agreement, which you do need to read and scroll through. And once you accept, you will click the button and the download should begin. So you can decide where you want to save it. I'm just going to save it into my downloads. And there are instructions here on the website all about how to install it, or you can watch the video and I'll show you how to. From my downloads, I'm going to double click on the package. Once I double click on the package, the screen comes up and I can hit continue. And it's going to ask me if it's okay to install it on my hard drive, or you can change the installation location. I'm just gonna say that's fine. I need to enter my password for my computer and install my software. So you can see how quick it is that that was installed. So I'm ready to close this and now I will go ahead and open up Canvas Workspace for Mac. So as soon as I open up, you can see a login screen appears. Now this is going to be the same login that you use for your online account. So the same login, you do not need to create a new account. If you already have a Canvas Workspace account, you just need to enter your existing password information. And here we are in Canvas Workspace. So I can view my mat a little bit bigger because I've got a bigger screen. But this should be practically identical to Canvas Workspace for PC. So you can see here, each of these is a menu for a different series of things. So this is shapes. The next one is text. Then you'll see SVG. That's if you wanted to import an SVG file. So that's why it opens a window. This is for image tracing. So again, if I click on here, it's going to ask me to bring in an image I want to trace. This is the path tool, and then finally the freehand path tool. If we go back to the shapes menu, you can see here that you have your basic shapes, and you can scroll through all of those different options. You also have borders of all kinds. This will be very familiar to you for a Canvas Workspace user. You have text of various kinds in here too. And then you have roll feeder. So now you can use the roll feeder if you have one, if you have a scan and cut DX. The other thing you'll notice is that the text button, okay, you can see here all these different fonts that are available to you because it is reading all of the true type fonts that are on my computer, which is super exciting. So I have downloaded tons of fonts over the years and now I can use any of them for my uh, various projects, which is super duper cool. Um, and then speaking of the right side, we should talk about this. So there's the properties, which you can see here. There's also the edit menu, which has lots of the options you're used to about alignment, process overlap, creating an offset, a weeding box, which is really cool for when you're working with vinyl. Um, the layers palette, which I'm super excited to use because this is what allows you to lock and hide. And in fact, why don't I just show that to you? Let me grab a couple shapes really quickly. So here's a square and I don't know what this shape is called a knot 
a sort of a, a rectangle ish, but you can see them they appear here in the layers palette. So I can see that this shape is on top of this shape. So if I go back to the properties and why don't I fill this, I can pick some colors here. Uh, let's fill this with blue and then let's fill this one with magenta. So now I can see that the blue is on top of the magenta. And if I look at the layers palette, the blue is on top of the magenta, but I can also drag it so that the magenta is on top of the blue. I can also turn off so that you can't see that blue. Now, if I select both of these, you can see they both get selected. But if I click the lock here next to the blue one and I go like this, you can see that only this one moves. I can't do, there's no way I can grab that blue one when it's locked, which is really cool. I can also determine whether this is a cutting or a drawing file which is super neat. So there's a lot that's really awesome in the layers palette. And then finally, this is the artboard. So this is where you would change the size of your mat and you can change it mid project if you want, which is cool so that you can figure out what you want to do. You can also change the units. You can show the ruler or not show the ruler. You can show the mat image or not show. And you can see all these different options that you have. So now that Canvas Workspace for Mac is available, you have a whole new world of things open up to you. There's just one quick note that I want to make because I've gotten a couple questions about this, which is under the file menu. You can see here export FCM file and transfer FCM file via the internet. So that is when you want to create an FCM file, which is fancy cutting machine or fabric cutting machine. It's a proprietary file that the scanning cuts read. And that's great. But if you save this file, it will save as is a file that the uh, scan and cut cannot read. Okay. I'm just going to pull up the saving box. See that extension CWPRJ? That's a Canvas Workspace project. But the problem is that you have to convert it to an FCM before you can cut it. So when you save it in that way, what it does is it basically makes it so that the file is sort of open and can still be edited. But when you actually transfer it, you need to transfer it as an FCM or export it as an FCM. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy Canvas Workspace for Mac and use all the really cool features that it has. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, please visit my blog at balzerdesigns.pipad.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, don't forget about the Scanning Cut website at scanningcut.com.